On this episode of What's Going On With Shipping, the U.S. seizes an Iranian tanker. Iran seizes two other tankers. I'm your host, Sal Mercaglano. Welcome to this episode of What's Going On With Shipping. If you're new to the channel, take a second, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. So story over this past week where the U.S. in conjunction with the Greek government seized an Iranian tanker that was identified as part of a sanction list and potentially hauling Russian oil. This was in Greek territorial waters. Now we find out that the, that the Iranians have seized two Greek tankers that were outbound of the Persian Gulf and are holding them. So let's take a look at this story in detail and do a little bit of the history of why this is going on. So this is a story from G-Captain, a Reuters story on May 27th that the Iranians have seized two Greek tankers in the Gulf, uh, the Persian Gulf on Friday, shortly after Tehran had warned that it would take punitive actions against Athens over the confiscation of Iranian oil by the U.S. for a tanker held off the Greek coast. This is the uh, Republican Guard statement. The Revolutionary Guards today seized two Greek tankers for violations in Gulf waters. It goes on to sit here and say the Greeks foreign ministry said an Iranian Navy helicopter landed on the Greek flag vessel Delta Poseidon, which was sailing in international waters, 22 nautical miles from the Iranian shore and took the crew hostage among them, two Greek citizens. It took a similar incident. Uh, it, it said a similar incident took place on another Greek vessel near Iran without naming the ship. Both vessels violated international, both actions violate international law and Greece has informed its allies as well as complained to Iran's ambassador in Athens. Greek-based Delta tankers, which operates Delta Poseidon, could not be reached for comment. These are the two Greek vessels, the Delta Poseidon and the Prudent Warrior. This was put out by Lloyd's List in a tweet showing the position of the vessels when they were seized. This is the position of Delta Poseidon via marine traffic at her last moment on AIS. You'll see it was back on May 27th at 1306 UTC time. She was underway 12.2 knots, course of 098. She had left the uh, uh, port of Iraq and was in inbound to Greece via the Straits of Hormuz, the Bab el Mandab through the Suez Canal. And the vessel has gone dark since then. Uh, if we look at the data on the ship right here, let's look at some uh, Delta Poseidon is a crude oil tanker. She uh, uh, departed from El Basra on May 26th. Uh, and was currently sailing at a speed of 12.2 knots for Greece, as we mentioned to you before. She was built in 2011, 11 years old, sailing under the flag of Greece. She's 157,000 deadweight tons. Her home port is Piraeus. She's classified under the Chinese Classification Society. And this, as we mentioned before, the vessel has gone dark at this point. The second vessel, is the aptly named Prudent Warrior. She was closer to the Straits of Hormuz, uh, Hormuz, excuse me, when she was seized. She was coming out of Qatar, Gutter, whatever you want to pronounce it, heading to the uh, port of Fujairah off, um, off of uh, Oman. And she was grabbed, both vessels will probably wind up at Bandar Abbas, which is the main Iranian Port. Let's take a look at some data. She was heading on a course of 070 at 10.3 knots, last ticked on AIS on May 27th at 1110 UTC time. If we look at information on this vessel, she is also a Greek flag vessel, a crude oil tanker built in 2017, uh, 100, nearly 150,000 deadweight tons. Classification society for her is ABS, and she's home ported in Andros, Greece. This is the Twitter account for Tanker Trackers, which does a fantastic job of following, exactly as her name says, tracking tankers around. What they've posted, and this was as of yesterday, each Greek Suez Max tanker is laden with about a million barrels of crude oil from Iraq, one of which also contains some Qatari oil. And our expectation is that we may see them both in the anchorage of Bandar Abbas, Iran, as of tomorrow, due to Iran's Navy presence there. Comes back to just a few hours ago, breaking news update. We have managed to locate one of the two hijacked Greek Suez Max tankers. The Delta Poseidon is located south of Bandar Al-Length, Iran. This is west of Keshem Island, 
still looking for the prudent warrior. Uh, Tanker Trackers uses a variety of methods, including AIS and open source intelligence uh, satellites to basically track vessels around the world. Fantastic site, fantastic service that they provide. And one of the things that they've been doing is tracking these elusive tankers. But let's get back to this story here and, and talk about it. So this story generates in response to the U.S. seizing Iranian tankers. And if you look at the, the, the original story we're looking at, uh, it goes on here. Greek-based, uh, excuse me, uh, Greek authorities last month impounded the Iranian flag Pegasus with 19 crew members on board near the coast of the southern island of Eva due to U United uh, European Union sanctions. And we saw that happen. Uh, this is the story right here, which I'll have included in here. The Greeks impound Russian tanker over EU sanctions against Moscow. This is back in April 19th. And then shortly thereafter, this story, April 21st, sanctions mistake leads Greece to release Russian tanker and crew. Uh, early on Friday, Nor News, which is affiliated to an Iranian state security body, said on Twitter, following the seizure of an Iranian tanker by the Greek government and the transfer of its oil to the Americans, Iran has decided to take punitive action against Greece. Uh, the Pegasus was among five vessels designated on, uh, by Washington on February 22nd, two days before the Russian invasion of Ukraine, for sanctions against I'm not going to say the bank's name because I'll just kill it. Viewed as critical to the Russian defense sector. It is unclear whether the cargo was impounded because it was Iranian oil or due to the sanctions on the tanker over its Russian links. Uh, now, this all takes place in the backdrop of an attempt by the United States to resume talks with Iran over these uh, nuclear issues, what was known as the JCPOA. Go to the next story. This is the U.S seizing that tanker that we're talking about. The U.S. seizes Iranian oil cargo near Greek island. The U.S. has confiscated Iranian oil held on a Russian-operated ship near Greece and will send the cargo to the U.S. aboard another vessel, three sources familiar with the matter says. It's unclear whether the cargo was impounded because it was Iranian oil or due to the sanctions. The Iranian flag vessel, the Pegasus, was among five vessels designated, as we mentioned before. The Russian vessel's owner, Trasmore float was subsequently designated on May 8th. The tanker renamed Lana on March 1st and flying the Iranian flag since May 1st has remained near Greek waters since then. It was previously Russian flagged. Well, if you look at AIS right now, you'll see what's going on. So here's the Eastern Mediterranean in the upper right of the screen is the Black Sea, the Turkish Straits, which dumps out into the Aegean. And the Lana, a Russian crude oil tanker built back in 2003, is right here in a bay just south of the Greek mainland. You'll see her right here in the anchorage. And what you do is if you zoom in even closer, you see what's going on here. Uh, we'll get an image here. There we go. Let's go ahead and readjust that a little bit. So here is Lana right here. She is sitting there at anchor showing right there. But right alongside of her is this vessel. This is the ice energy. This is a Liberian flag tanker that is obviously under lease or, or contract to the US government. And what we're seeing right here is a skin to skin STS transfer of oil out of the Lana to the ice energy. So basically because of sanctions and we're not again sure if this is because it's Iranian oil or it's a Russian flag vessel but in Greek territorial waters, a Liberian tanker is siphoning off the oil from a Russian flagged vessel carrying Iranian oil to a Liberian flag vessel under charter to the US government at this moment. So if it sounds confusing, there's a reason for that. So let's remember there are sanctions against Iran because of nuclear deals and issues associated with that. We have sanctions against Iran, we have sanctions against Venezuela, but then you also have these sanctions. This is a list of summary of sanctions levied against Russia. And part of that has to do with energy flows. The US has banned imports of Russian crude oil, gas, and coal. Britain said it will phase it out by end of 2022. The EU, Russia's largest energy customer, has banned the imports of Russian coal, but has so far not restricted oil or gas imports. It's been wrangling for weeks over a phase ban on imports on Russian oil. And the kicker to this story is this one right here is the thing that has prevented the EU from doing it is the Greeks. Exactly where this is taking place in Greek territorial waters, 
Greek ship owners killed the EU's Russian oil tanker ban. The EU is set to soften its sanctions package on Russian oil exports after a weekend of wrangling, though it aims to keep a key shipping provision that will hinder Moscow's ability to export its crude. The bloc will drop a proposed ban on EU-owned EU vessels transporting Russian oil to third countries according to documents seen by Bloomberg. Greece, whose economy is heavily dependent on shipping, was among the member states that pushed the provision on exporting to third countries to be dropped from the EU six package on sanctions over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The lack of a single position among the group of seven nations was central to the proposal being dropped. And if you look here at Greek shipping interests, oil tanker fleet ownership by nationalities, the largest section here is basically 26% of Greece right here in the oil tanker ownership by nationality. It, it's just substantial, substantial. And so the Greeks play a big role here. Now, why Greece has approved this within their waters, there's been a lot of oil and grain transport uh, transfers taking place in Greek waters. A lot of the small bulkers coming out of Ukraine, coming out of Russia, and oil tankers coming out of Russia will stop in the Aegean in Greek territorial waters to conduct these transfers. What's re even more interesting is that tanker uh, trackers has a reported story of a tanker transferring oil out in the middle of the Atlantic right now. This detail right here, this was posted on May 26. We are monitoring a fairly concerning development involving two vessels that are attempting to engage in a ship-to-ship -ship transfer of Russian oil further out into the Atlantic Ocean. They do not appear to be assisted by tugboats as per safety protocols. Goes on here with some updates. Uh, the two vessels are now engaged in the ship-to-ship -ship transfer. What's a further concern is that the recipient vessel can handle another two loads of cargo, meaning that we may see additional vessels appear in the coming days or weeks. The closest tugboat is 555 kilometers away. Understand, you need tugs to maneuver these two large vessels alongside. And doing it out in the Atlantic is extremely dangerous because of ocean swells and movements. The amount of crude oil that's currently being transferred equates to 723,000 barrels, which is around 115 million liters or 30 million gallons. And this is just a third of what the receiver can accept. So again, we're seeing a lot of ways to bypass these sanctions. But to get back to the Iranians and the Greeks in the US, this all stems back from a story back in 2020. Here it is. The U.S. seizes four Iranian fuel cargoes en route to Venezuela. Iran has been shipping oil to Venezuela quite a bit. And this story back in 2020 was significant. The Justice Department called it the largest seizure of Iranian oil. The U.S. on Friday said it seized four Iranian fuel shipments en route to Venezuela and confiscated the cargo. The ships were the Liberian flag Bella, Bering, Pandy, and Luna. They're owned and managed by companies controlled by the Greek-based firms Vienna, LTD, and Palermo SA. So, and both were you know, unavailable for comments. There, there's, there's a shocker. Uh, it goes on here to talk about with the assistance of foreign partners, this seized property is now in US custody. Uh, the four tankers, approximately 1.16 million barrels of fuel, making the largest US seizure of Iranian fuel. Washington has imposed sanctions on both countries to choke oil exports and deprive them of their main source of revenue. Now, again, remember, we are currently seeking Venezuelan Iranian oil to offset the loss of Russian oil. We're also trying to get Iran to talk to reopen the nuclear uh, negotiations. And the US basically took this oil in conjunction working with these Greek companies to get it, which is, tar this is one of the reasons the Iranians have a big problem with the Greeks and why they seized two Greek ships. It wasn't just because of the fact that we're taking that cargo off the, ve the vessel in Greek waters. This story from a few days later, back in 2020, excuse me, and this story is from February of 2021, US sells seized Iranian fuel, another cargo on the way. The US has sold more than a million barrels of Iranian fuel seized under its sanction program last year. Seizures are part of Washington's tough economic sanctions on Tehran. In a new approach last year, the administration of former President Trump used civil forfeiture procedures to seize some 1.2 million barrels. 
It goes on down here. The petroleum has been seized and an interlocutory sale has preserved the cash value of the petroleum, which is now held by the U.S. federal marshals. The value of the gasoline was not known, but was likely worth tens of millions of dollars. That cargo was loaded onto a Liberian flagged Achilles tanker, last reported its position in Caribbean waters. The U.S. Gulf port of Galveston was its destination with a scheduled arrival of May 15th. Uh, excuse me, February 15th. Refinity ship tracking data showed on Wednesday, Houston and Galveston pilot groups said they have not been informed of the ship's arrival or which agent will handle it. The U.S. loves to use these Liberian flag tankers. They don't use U.S. tankers for this, where it's number one, there's not U.S. tankers out there doing this, but they charter with these companies under Liberian flag because there's no connection with it. You can just basically wipe your hands clean and step away from it. And they're playing this game of seizing fuel on the open ocean, transferring. And understand, this has the potential to blow up in our faces again. Because again, when you're playing with these seizures, we have saw the Iranians seize vessels. They've seen, seized a Korean vessel. They've seized British tankers. And now they've seized two Greek tankers under the nose of the Fifth Fleet, by the way, under, under the nose of the U.S. Navy and allied forces in the Persian Gulf. And I keep talking about the fact that what's going on in Russia and Ukraine has the potential to turn the Black Sea into a new Persian Gulf. We still have the old Persian Gulf. We're still seeing this with oil seizures around the world. We'll keep track of this and follow the story as it develops. Right now, the two Greek tankers are held by the Iranians and the US and the Greeks are offloading Russian uh, or Iranian oil off a Russian tanker into a Liberian flagship for sale and transport who knows where. That's international shipping. And this is why I started this channel to talk about the intricacies of details like this. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. Leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, share it across social media. And if you can, head over to our Patreon page and be sure to become a patron of the channel. We appreciate all our patrons. Again, want to thank Jim Bianco, Jay Mintzmeyer, uh, and those who have contributed over to the Patreon page. Uh, stay tuned for more stories and videos as shipping news develops. And it seems to be a fairly consistent stream of news coming out from the shipping industry. Until next story, this is Sal signing off.